Thank you very much. As it gets colder, you might be tempted to crank up the heat. However, experts say that's not actually the best approach. They recommend leaving the heat between 68 and 70 degrees and not dropping it overnight. Channel 3's Kevin Geist joins us live now from the Williston Fire Department. Kevin, what do the departments notice when it gets this cold? Kat, Darren, what they notice is that the first thing that comes out of the closet is one of these, a space heater or some sort of supplemental heat. And they say sometimes when these come out, safety is the first thing that goes out the window. They'll pull uh, a 30 year old space heater out that they may have either never used or rarely used. The problem with supplemental heat, firefighters say, is that when not used correctly, fire risk goes up. That's why they say it's important to leave space around your space heater. Any type of heating source that there is that three foot barrier around it from any flammable objects. If you are throwing more wood in a wood stove, make sure your chimney is clean and the fire doesn't get too hot. Williston Fire also says a fireplace should have a screen to keep sparks in their place. And with fire comes another critical reminder. It says make sure that they have both smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. Um, and make sure they work. Just a quick push of the test button. And Nato says make sure you're never using your oven or your stove as a source of heat. Instead of adding extra heat, you can also try to keep the heat in and the cold out. And what we see as the least expensive energy efficiency improvement is stopping uncontrolled air movement. That can mean plugging any holes exposed to the outside, layering insulation around windows and door frames, and just making sure windows are fully shut and locked. Stop some of that uncontrolled air movement, as well as being able to provide just an additional level of insulation to be able to keep the heat in and the cold out. Vermont Gas Systems Energy Efficiency Program Manager Tim Perrin says another thing to pay attention to, the pipes. Are there any pipes that are going to be directly exposed to the elements? or within an unheated crawl space or in a basement that could actually dip into temperatures. If there are, Perrin recommends leaving the faucet on a slight trickle to allow water movement. And if they do freeze, Williston Fire says reach for a hairdryer, not an open flame. Home fires are often caused when people's pipes freeze and they try to tackle it themselves and use an open flame to do so. Williston firefighters are also reminding folks at home to check in with your neighbors when temperatures get this cold. Give them a call, shoot them a text, just make sure they're doing okay through the cold temperatures and that they'll be okay through the entire cold snap. We're live in Williston tonight. Kevin Geis, Channel 3 News.